Hello right bags, it's Jay Plays Games. Welcome back to another Portal Knights video. Check out my brand new crib. So you may have wondered why you haven't seen an actual Let's Play Portal Knights video for the last couple of days. It's because I've been building my new base. Now it's not complete, it's not finished. I've got quite a bit to do to make it a little bit better. Put some more decorations on it and just style it out a little bit more. But you know what, I'm quite proud and I wanted to show you what I've done so far. So how did I get to this stage? Why did I decide to build this? How did I build it? Here you go, check it out. So I found this world quite early on, it's like the fourth world in the game, Port Coal or Coal of Port or something like that. And I found these ruins and I thought these ruins were really interesting. I just liked the look of these, I don't know what it was. Something about the glow, something about the actual, just the ruins, the pillars, it just really called out to me. So I remembered it, I got all materials, I've been saving some up and obviously you can see all my bricks. I bought them all over from my other little base that I'd started making. And I just put some temporary places down, workbenches and you know, storage, and I just went to work. My first idea was just to get the walls completed. I imagined there were walls in between these pillars. That's what my big idea was, that it would be just a big room. Didn't know what, didn't know how it was going to be, like a tower, a castle, would it be a branching off different areas. I had lots of different ideas, but the first stage was definitely let's get all the walls actually done. Excuse my mining helmet there, I'll take it off in a minute, I promise. Um, and yeah, I thought about using different materials to highlight stuff more, like maybe something like brick or, or wood. But I thought, no, the stone still looked good. I think the stone still matches the pillars next to it rather than something different. I love building so much. It, it really has like reignited how much I like building stuff. Um, and then I played around with different types of windows and different slots and slats, um, you know, all different sizes. I've came with that for a while, but I do make them a lot smaller later on so that I could actually fit some grills in. And then I just still went around and done the rest of it. It gets really dark though, so it's a bit of a problem at night. And there you go, it's starting to take shape a little bit now. I've got one side complete. This takes a while, I had to go and get all this stone as well. I quickly run out of the cobbled sort of stone. So eventually got some doors and I decided what am I going to do? Was I going to have a big entranceway in the middle of the sort of tower? Or would I have something not as uniform to maybe just put a small entrance to the right or left? Of it. So I debated it and I thought I'd have two entrances, I'll have one at the front and then I'll have another one sort of just off to the side which would lead to like another area or another build. The doors are a bit tricky because they're only like three squares wide I think so it, it, it would be nice if they'd been four squares so it was a bit odd trying to put it in the middle of something like this. So eventually I got it but it, it did take some time to muck around with to get them fitted exactly where I wanted and then I changed my mind and I was going to put the actual door there instead so that took a while to rejig it and I love that though you know you make mistakes and you, you quickly get back to it and, and decide what you want to do. Um, it's five squares wide not three squares wide I think no five three one two yeah it's five squares wide um, like I said I think it would have been better if the doors had been four it would have made things a lot easier when you're building but hey ho it just about fitted that side this side is actually a little bit longer than the other side it's more of a rectangle shape these ruins rather than a square and I thought that was interesting as well and then I'm just adding you know more of the walls getting them all done and dusted and look we're nearly done now I've nearly got the walls all the way around the actual build I really like that idea of having that structure in the middle. I put that big glowing thing on top of there though. That wasn't there, it was just the block as you saw at the beginning. And then I made one of them. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of them now, I can't remember it for the life of me. But it's meant to keep baddies away. So I do explain that a bit later on, but I'll explain it again. But if you can craft one of them, it will stop enemies from spawning in your base or near your base. So it's cool. And when I placed it, I didn't mean to place it kind of... I placed it just anywhere in here and just to make sure nothing spawned and then it was such a good thing the way it just floats in the sky I thought that would be really cool as like a centerpiece and I wanted this area to really show off stuff I thought it's going to be a grand entrance way I did think about making it into smaller rooms or maybe just being um, different directions not having such a big tower but I decided I wanted to build something quite big then I started the stairs these took forever because I just wasn't making it big enough the stairs just weren't coming out enough and so I was ending up like only having like a one walkway wide stairway and I didn't want that, I wanted it to be at least two so it had proper space to go around it. I did realise that the stairs were out by one though, I didn't want it sticking out, I really wanted the hallway to be completely like 
almost the stairs hidden. So I deleted that bit and I rejigged it and again that took some time. And then I finally finished it and just added that. It looks a bit, you know, unusual at the back of it because it's just on its own a little stairway tower. But I quite like that. I don't think things have to be uniformed. I don't think things have to be matching on every side. In fact, I was going to not match anything on this build. I was only going to put maybe one little tower. Um, but then, I don't know, I like the traditional look of what I did later, so I'll show you that. Now we're getting the floors done. Wood again, yeah, I thought about adding a bit more stone, but I thought, well, no, you, you need a little bit of wood. And I thought about covering up the actual, uh, the ward, that's it, the ward stone. Um, but I wanted to see it, I really did want to see it. I wanted to be able to have it in the centre as a centrepiece. So I only made a small walkway just around it, and then I thought about like what kind of lighting I'm going to have and what I'm going to do with that area. I did come up with a few different things. I did put some walls in the place, and I did make tiny little rooms, but I just didn't like them. Everything was dark and small and cramped. And I just thought, well, I don't need it that way. You're not. There's not. You don't need loads of rooms in this game for stuff. It's not like you've got a billion things you can show off, or, or like Minecraft where you've got all sorts of different things. The, the building blocks and stuff are a little bit more basic, but I like that because it means you've got to be even more creative in how you do it. You, you can't just use twenty thousand different bricks. You have to use shape, and you have to cut into bricks and make different shapes out of towels and stuff. So eventually I got the floor done and I started doing the roof. Now the roof I used bricks. There is a ceiling tile and it's very similar colour and it doesn't have the, the complete brick effect. It's only like two wide so it looks like slates but they're more expensive to craft and like the resources you need from them are much more so i thought you know what i'd rather just go with something like that here's the mistake i made with the walls you can see i've been in just log walls and they just didn't sit right they just don't i wish they didn't have that little um, line in between each block they would have been a lot better if they didn't have that so i won't be using them for walls probably ever in fact i don't think i would be using them at all i don't like them I like the, the look of them you know on the top of it it just looks it just doesn't look like a stack of logs to me or something you could use like that maybe in terms of a fence to keep people out but that's about the only thing I could think of to do then I've got some studded room blocks these are the studded ones um, and I wanted to make some sort of piece in the middle I couldn't have it just plain I wanted it to have some sort of pillar effect that held up the roof even though it doesn't really because the pillars should go all the way down and I still might do that um, with the room stones just connect it so that the room stones go from all the way from the ground all the way up but for now that's how it is I started work on the roof again and I was going for because it was a rectangle I couldn't just do like a pyramid -y shape I was trying to do different things like I went up by one for the first part and then I was going up by two and then on the other side I was only ever going up by one so the roof is quite unique it's got lots of different shape to it I think um, and you have got to make them tall like I was using so many bricks here it took so long to craft all this stuff all in all, I say about five or six hours, it probably took about eight hours actually. When I went back over the footage, I have cut about eight hours worth of footage into a 20 minute video. And you can see the roof there, it's still looking quite flat, especially from down below. Up top it's okay, it looks like a big roof, but when you get down below, it's, it's still you struggle to see that it's like a big roof sticking out. So I knew I was going to do something else with that, definitely. Nearly done that, I was just finishing off the top final touches in here, having a little look around, seeing what I was going to do with it. Again, contemplating what to do with the rooms and then just back up to finish the roofing. And then finally I started doing more of the brickwork that I wanted to do. I wanted to contrast it, I wanted to have, I was thinking about having like a clock tower. So again, I'm still gonna do something with it because it looks a bit plain when I finish it. But I wanna add something to the top here, something sparkly, some sort of artifact or something that shines, stands out. Then like I said, when you've got blocks that are quite basic, you need to add layers. You need to add a little bit more to it to make it look like it stands out instead of just having blank walls. And I thought that was just a nice little touch done there. Then I started working on these towers. And didn't really show too much of me building these towers but I did decide to do one or two and then all of a sudden I've done all four so it was like oh crikey and then I've done some lighting here so I was going for this gold effect like I wanted the, the outsides and the pillars that look like they were covered in like gold fleck or like different kind of fleck so it was like really luxurious you can see the look there I don't know if I 100% like it I might change it back to stone or I might change it to another material I don't think it's bling bling enough um, but you let me know do you like the, the copper there or shall I try something else um, 
this was something really crazy so i was building this out a little bit and i found these weird bricks they were such a different color and it opens up into like a secret area so that's what these ruins are if you see these ruins anywhere with that just gray rune stoned big block it's got this stuff in it and i was like what is this what is this as usual though the loot in these places is awful like literally i only get a couple of potions um and that is it and some copper ore that was, that was pretty poor loot really for something that was hidden away so well but this brick is really interesting i have no idea what it's used for i don't know how you craft it we find a north site block so i presume that's going to be found later on in some of the other levels which i've not visited yet i've not even got to the gold stage i've only just unlocked some of the islands that have gold on it then i come back to the towers like i said and started finishing them off and i thought about putting little roofs on them and again i still might but i thought for now i'll go with the traditional castle sort of look um and if i really want to add some roof into it i can do um eventually but i just wanted something simple and i was kind of thinking about the time it takes to build this and i wanted to get the video out the longer i spent mucking around trying different designs the longer it takes to actually get the, the video out i didn't want to do any more let's plays until i showed you my base because i'm going to be coming back here all the time to craft stuff and bring back my loot and just go through everything so finally started on my clock tower a bit there and you see it's starting to come together a little bit the towers look a bit plain i'm still going to add some more detail to them by the end of it and I'm, i might build them up a little bit more and there you go at night time that's what it looks like with the lighting underneath the gargoyles like i did and i think it's pretty cool um the, the flames pop out a little bit on pc i hope that's a bit better on console you guys let me know whether or not it, it's always constant the flames or do they do that as well they don't render in properly then i finally put the roof onto my tower and this was like the final piece nearly i was like yes it did it just took so long it took me about four days obviously i didn't play for eight hours straight i've done like two hours every night after every recording of all my other videos that i have to do and then i came on here and just chilled out it was just really nice chilling out in this game and in between this it, it weren't just two or three hours of building i was going off adventuring occasionally going in doing events and picking up more resources so that's why it took so long it wasn't this whole build took eight hours it was more gathering the resources and distracting myself occasionally if i got a little bit bored or fed up of building and then finally put the final roof piece on which i was you know quite proud of the brick i don't know if the brick work completely works as as a roof maybe the tiles will be better you can see the tiles on the other buildings around but it was cheaper to make and i just thought yeah that'd be cool i'll, I'll use that for now and i don't think it's too sad so we're going to jump down now and we should cut you back to actually where i recorded live and i'll see you guys very soon it's not bad eh now it, was two, it has taken about five hours, I'd say, to do all this, six hours to go and get the grind. But I have enjoyed every single minute of it. It's literally like going old school, like Minecraft. And for me, that is really old school, although I've just noticed something there that's got to change. There we go. So I've got all my decorations, I've got my statues outside. We're going to cobble all this all up. I'm going to make a proper little bridge going across this water. I like the way this path goes. I'm going to make it just like another little area where it just goes in. And eventually we'll wall it all off and we'll put other buildings there maybe. Or I might go to somewhere else, another map and make something different. But for my first proper build in Portal Knights, I don't think that's too sad. Like I said, it was a ruin, so I wanted to rebuild it and see what it would be like. So I don't know if it 100% works. Again, I might change some stuff. You let me know whether or not this uh, the copper here looks good. I want it to be like a facade on top of the building. Like I said, there's lots to still do. I haven't changed all of it to copy yet, but I just wanted to show you, give you an idea of what I'm doing. Now, this area is meant to be proper, just like really grand and really like wall. You know, you're meant to look up and go, wow, look at that. What it needs is some lighting. I want to see if I can craft some of the blue squares, the magic blue square lighting and put it up there. I think that would be really cool if we can get that. And I still might change some of this already. Obviously, if you don't know, that is the actual um, sort of block that keeps enemies from spawning. So it goes quite large. It goes to about, I'd say, about here. And that's the distance it covers. So that's, that's not too sad. Obviously, it's the big as my building. I still haven't moved any of this stuff upstairs. None of this is going to stay here. This is literally all this downstairs is going to be just my sort of trophy room. That's all it's going to be. There's going to be nothing else down here. I just want it to show off anything I get like this one. Look at that trophy there. And we've got this one too. So I'm sure there's some more. I want to put them there. Anything else I get that's really cool, or really, you know, sparkly, I'm going to put it down here. It's just going to be like my, you know, showing off gallery. 
And then we go up the stairs in. Uh, obviously, you've got to be a little bit careful where you put stairs. I didn't want it just blocking up this nice entranceway. So I did build it off, made a tiny little stairway tower. But I think that's okay. And then here, this needs quite a bit more lighting. Like I said, I still want to get some of the blue magic squares to match this sort of light as well and get them up here and glowing and everything else. I struggled to think about what to do with this. Like I could have made it just a floor and just made rooms, but I thought this was such an epic thing to have. It just looks really cool, so I wanted to be able to see it like from all directions. So I thought, you know what, we'll have areas instead. We'll come up here and we're going to have all my classes here, so I'm going to carry on. I might get to level 30 and then I'll start a new class, depending on how far I've got in the game. Whether or not I start a new universe, or I might just start, like I said, with another class and come back here. So the idea is that one side will be like all my mage stuff. Another side is going to be all my, obviously, ranger stuff. And the other side is going to be all my uh, warrior stuff. And then I'll just have a few little bits and bobs here that are just general. And it'll be full of the crafting areas and benches and, you know, bookshelves and storage to carry all my weapons and stuff. And that's it, I don't plan to make any floors upstairs. I mean, I, I don't know, maybe one day I might do something with it. It looks like you could have a floor like going across there, but I quite like it, I quite like the big openness. It's really dark though, like look how dark it is. It's like middle of the daytime as well. Look how sh shiny and bright it is outside, but inside it's like meh. It doesn't improve it at all, putting it on like its highest graphics settings either. It's just still really dark. So yeah, no real improvements there. I've got a few windows again, I'm not too keen on these, I might put wooden windows in them, like for little slats when I'm crafting. Or I might try to do something a little bit, to allow a little bit more light in here, because it's it's not very big enough, you can't really see around you. The thing with these bases, you don't need to build this big, it's not like I'm going to get attacked by anyone. But I just thought it was still just a bit of fun, and just something to get into, which I haven't done in such a long time, I love building. It does, it makes me want to get my Minecraft itch out, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go back to Minecraft, not for a while anyway. And that was so cool finding that secret area down there, that was just mental. So again I'm, I might do something with like that, I might make it like a stairwell leading to that area. Because I think that's pretty cool. I might have overdone it a little bit with the flames here. But yeah, plan to build like a nice wooden bridge or a stone bridge with wooden slats in it and stuff. Gonna have it all cobbled up around and just looking nice like it's almost on a, a dock area. And I've got me gargoyles, gonna make sure I've got gargoyles all around that whole castle. So I just thought that was pretty cool. It does look really epic at night time as well, like I've put some light in there where the gargoyles are and stuff. But I'll show you that in another episode of Let's Play. So I'm Joe Plays Games, this has been my crib, my base. I've still got a regular Let's Play, I'm loving Portal Knights, I don't care if it's not getting as many views as some of the other videos, I'm really enjoying it, so make sure you hit the button up with a like, and I'll be back to go and explore and see if we can get some gold in the next episode. Until then, bye bye!